My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breath against me. I've felt it. For a while now. What? What's up? What's up? Nasuki suddenly jumps back. Oh, is it what I think it is? Sayori! <laughs> Nasuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. I got all of it. I got the funnels. I got the drizzles. I got the measuring cups. Old eggs, mixing bowls, whisk. I got it all. What you need? Holla at me. You want it? I got it. If I ain't got them, get it. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. I got you. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course, I'm trying to get these cupcakes did and made. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? What, you're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag for me? No, you got it. Where's your hospitality, funny? Since when did I need to be a gentleman? <laughs> I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. This is ridiculously heavy. Aha, uh -huh. what you laughing for? I carried that all the way here. God damn, Nazi. Nice. You got them cupcake muscles. You got that bacon strength. You got that strength required to mix that thick dough for 24 hours. Boy, your forearms and arms must be like crazy strong. Are you impressed? Yeah, I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Nazi. It seems like I always underestimate you. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Nasuki hits a fist into my chest. Hold on now, don't don't crack my don't crack my heart cage. What? I mean sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and I'm also better than other people. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. I'm thinking you talk about weird things because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Let's get it! Miss Crocker, you're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Let's get it. Hey, now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just because I don't have a mature, sexy figure like Yuri, doesn't mean you should treat me like... What you mean? I... Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Come on, Natsuki, chill. We just here to have some fun and bake some cupcakes, baby. We ain't got to worry about Yuri and nobody else. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Natsuki and Funny baking cakes. We still got to get you in the booth for that song, though. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Huh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little bit more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyway? What you mean? I'm a guy. I know what I know. What the, I know. It's like you gotta believe there's something, there's someone for everyone. Everybody likes all types. It's, don't think there's one type that literally nobody likes. Trust me. Just trust me on this one. See, even the game knows. Like, I knew what they knew that they, I knew what they knew what I knew. You feel me? You smell me? Man, what the fuck is you what talking the fuck about? Was that? Gross. <laughs> what? Hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, I just can't win, can I? Let's just get started already. I'm hungry. You get all sour when a girl. Damn. Stupid. You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. Well, I mean, yeah, being called gross isn't a nice thing. I finally found your weakness. What, being called gross? Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. Yeah, I got some loaded up in the clip for you too, Natsuki. We can go round for round, you feel me? Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn all over the countertop. Where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going to be in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. Uh, what are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. Did we really ask that question? Like, fool, we know what the coloring is. Funny, what are we doing, buddy? That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. 
Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, that would probably work, yeah. You're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? What you mean? I love baking the color. Like, let's get it. Put the full color in the ice and let's get some, like, strawberry cream frosting and the orange and the purple and the green. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm having fun. I'm just, like, struggling not to eat these right now. That's all that is. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's just a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on your first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? I am. I just don't have them strong arms like yours. I'm working to get there, Sensei. Well, yeah. It'll take just a little bit longer. I'm almost done. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand and tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. I like this attitude. I like where she's going with it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I want some icing. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey. Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in, the, in my icing. What you mean? I washed him. I washed him. Your icing, huh? Oh, that was your icing. Are you forgetting who did all the work, Natsuki? I do believe I'm the one who started these ingredients in this bowl. This is funny's icing. I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. You're going to give me some of this icing. You're not about to keep me out of my icing, girl. I'm going to get a piece of this icing. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I like to see you try. I push harder just enough for my finger to reach the icing. Aha! I got it. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. You can't stop me from getting my icing, baby. I love icing too much to lose this battle, Natsuki. The force of Natsuki pulling causes me to stumble, making her stumble in return. Gross. You got it on in my face. Whose fault is that? It ain't my fault. You the one trying to keep me from icing. I told you I fights for my icing, baby. There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. That's tragic. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. What you trying to, girl, if you don't wipe that off? You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Aha! Uh -huh. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. You must learn, young grasshopper. When it comes to the fighting of the icing, I am undefeated. Aha, uh -huh, stop. There's the icing on her finger. Oh, look at her with the doll. Oh, look at that. That's a thumbnail. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. What are we about to do, buddy? I take Snotsky's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the ice and okay. Oh my god, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. You kind of took it there already with the, uh, uh, um. All right, so you jumped in the driver's seat, huh? I wasn't, I didn't think we were going to take it there yet, buddy. <laughs> Holy crap. All this dialogue and talking, give me that ice and what? Did you seriously just... I... Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. You really shouldn't do that kind of things to girls unless you really like them. What kind of question is she asking me just like that? I mean, you the one that kind of just took the finger with the ice and licked it off, bro. Now, granted, it's not blood like with Yuri, 
Like I prefer icing over blood any day of the week, month, year. How did the mood turn to this so quickly? What you mean? You did this. You literally did this, man. I mean, we literally did this because we are one. We are Venom. I noticed her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? What did you put in his icing? Am I tripping? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going. Oh, shoot. Get the, get the, get out the oven. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. Bad. How could you make a mistake like that? Damn. We left a tray in the oven, bro. We must it must have been last night's dinner. We was making like pizza rolls. We just took the the rolls off the tray and left it in there. That's my bad, Natsuki. That's my bad. You should have checked before turning the oven on. That's on us though, buddy. <laughs> she should have checked it, but that's still on us. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. What? We just gonna ignore that? Okay. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trees. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Let's get it. I want to make one like Naruto themed. I want to make another one with the Dragon Ball Z theme going on it. Then we could make another one with like the Overlord theme on it. Then we can make another one. We can make it even more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word that they like. Ah, I'm using my brain meats. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea. So maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. We could be honest here. We're in Funny's kitchen. This is the Funny Bakery. You feel me? You smell me? Nothing but sweet aromas. Nothing but honest bakery and opinions and facts in this kitchen. We're real here. There's nobody judging you here, baby. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, Natsuki's voice trails off. The same with you. Did you say something? Can you repeat that for me? I didn't hear it too well. I need you to say it a little bit louder for the people watching the video. N no, nothing. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I wish I could. I wish I could have one now. We can. Did we make extra? They don't need to know how many we made. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, just, just indulge a little bit. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Well, what's for eats? Tell Pops, like, you know, can I can I chill for a bit? Sayori is the exact opposite in that regard. Yeah, Sayori would eat this whole tray and then still be looking for dinner. Like, besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway... I was hoping we could have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Already? It's your fault for working so slowly. Ah, my, I was learning. I was learning. I'm, I'm, next time will be a lot quicker. If you and Sayori each carry something, you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. I mean, I might eat one though. You know, no promises. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? I mean, you kind of just stuck her finger in your mouth. I don't know if you can get any closer than that right now. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. Yeah, let's do it again. You showed me how fun baking can be like you want it. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, 
Do you really mean that? Yes. Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. I thought you only cared about getting this done. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Whoa! Natsuki! Not in front of Sayori! Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up to me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at my, the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks, matching eyes, filled my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. Natsuki, we gotta go back in, in the house. I don't want Sayori to see this. My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breath against me. I've felt it for a while now. What? What's up? What's up? Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Oh, is it what I think it is? Sayori! Oh, come on, shun. Oh, no. Not the depression arc. Sayori, just now, we weren't. It's okay. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well... You should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. No promises. Anyway, later. <laughs> Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Ah, uh, Sayori. We're going to fix our mistake. We're going to do what's right this time. And we're just going to say it. Sayori, I love you. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. We, did we did we fix it? Suddenly, Sayuri wraps her arms tightly around me. Did we fix it? Did we prevent it? Oh, please tell me. Did we take a turn? Did we make a right choice? Is this really okay? Yeah. So that's what I look like. Okay. I hold Sayuri in my arms and pull her closer. Okay. I got the generic. You, you can just see the back of my head. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, funny. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Oh, I hope Natsuki don't see this. I feel Sayori's grip around... Grip? What is a grip? Stupid! I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now... Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay? Sayori and I slowly release each other. Yes! So she's not doing the drop down and crying and screaming her eyes out no more. I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? And what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same it has always been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey. Sorry he gazes at me again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, 
this is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. But I'm having so much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Alright. Oh man, it's the day of the festival. Let's get them cupcakes going. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. No! 